You know, there's nothing like hanging out in the green room, although there's nothing green. I now have some green stuff hanging around here, by the way. <laughs> we, we didn't have anything green. But, you know, Zenobia, you gave me this bio, which is totally amazing, by the way. And I would spend time reading it. But since it's just you and I and a couple of people that are eavesdropping on our conversation, uh, give me a little bit about the narrative. Like, who is Zenobia Andrews and what are you up to these days? And you know what? You made me think about, you know, I started from the bottom. Now I'm here. I'm starting from the bottom. Now I'm here. It's so hilarious. Um, super thankful. Thank you so much for having me to be a part of this extraordinary platform. Um, for all of our listeners, thank you so much for joining us as we have this chat, this conversation. Hopefully Shay and myself will, will keep ourselves kind of tamed a little bit. Um, definitely want to thank you so much. This is, this is extraordinary. Um, and a little bit about myself. Truly, I did start from the bottom. Um, I'm from Florida originally, but I live in Houston, Texas. And um, my husband and I, we own two multi-million dollar businesses. One is in the healthcare industry. The other one is I am I own a full service digital marketing agency. And so talk about timing right now with all the COVID and the pandemic and everything that we've experienced this year of 2020. It has been very relevant to build an online, you know, anything. Um, of selling of any source or system that you may have a product or whatever, but super excited. So um, I have two children and um, they're, they're spoiled, uh, over deserving, I'm sure, but they're really good kids. And um, I love doing what I do. I love, I love helping entrepreneurs. I love um, helping small business owners build their dream. There's nothing like actually creating um, the reality for what you've been dreaming about for so long. And so we do that by way of helping them build businesses online. And so super excited to be here and to share with all of our our our, um, our community here on Happy Entrepreneur. You know, what? I'm really excited to have you. And I'm, I'm just curious, um, what type of conversation are you having now with your clients? Um, I know with our colleagues and them that had used the stage primarily as almost 100 percent of their revenue stream. That's wiped away. And then I have other colleagues who their um, business have been impacted by 80%. Um, but I'm curious, what conversation are you having with your clients and sharing with them in order for them to stay focused during the time that we're in now, which is uncertain times. I don't want to make uh, light of the situation. I've lost family to this situation. Uh, my business has been impacted and friends as well. So I know it's very, very serious. But my question is, what type of conversation are you having with your clients right now? A couple of things. Um, one, there has never been a greater need for the diversity of building a, a plan B, right? And so your plan B, um, possibly depending on if you are a full-time entrepreneur, if you're working for corporate and you're, you're doing this on the side, um, one of the things could be is, is that, you know, you're trying to create another option, another plan um, that would work for you and your customers um, or your pop, your potential lead. So building a business online could be a, a plan B option for you. But the, the, the biggest thing that I really share with my, my followers is that, um, and my customers is that, you know, you really want to make sure that as people are making the decision, you know, what they will pay, because a lot of jobs have been lost. A lot of people have, you know, they've been let go. They've been severed. You know, they're going to have to make the decision. Hey, do I pay the happy entrepreneur, do I pay Shay Brown and his company or, or do I pay this other company? So you want to stay relevant in the times of this transition in the time of this pandemic. And how do you become relevant? How do you become not that option to not get paid? And so that's really what I've been focusing on with my clients is making sure that they're not the option as their as their customers are thinking about, oh, I got to cut back on this. You don't want to be the one that's cut back. So how do you remain relevant in this time and this season and within this paradigm of a shift? And so um, that's really what I've been working with my clients. And we do that. The answer to that for them is really being in sync and in sync with what, what, what do their customers need right now? Because what they needed in January is different from what they need right now in, in June and July. So um, those are some of the things that we are having conversations around. You know, I'm really excited. That's super important. What are we going to do now, ladies and gentlemen? For those folks that are just tuning in right now, you're at the right place at the right time. You're with the one and only Zenobia Andrews, and she's made a commitment today. She's going to show you exactly step by step, Dwayne, step by step, Carol, step by step, Martha, step by step, uh, Dwayne, how you can build an online business even right now. We've got a show. We got to get going. We'd be here all day long. We got to get going. So we come back. You're going to hear from the one and only Zenova, and we'll be back in five. This is my favorite part. Four, I love doing it. Three, two, one. It's what they call. I'm
promise I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shea Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, check. Shea Brown. My check, my check. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Man. Got money on my mind, Man. I can never Man. get enough. And every time I step Man. up in the building, everybody yes. hands go up. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome back to the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country where we're on a mission, and that mission is to empower, the mission is to inspire, and the mission is to provide you, that's right, you, the entrepreneur, with all of the resources that are necessary to execute that big vision that you have for the people that you were called to serve. And I believe in my heart that you have three visions, by the way, I think you have three visions. I think first you have a, you have a vision for yourself and there are things you want. There's the home that you wanna live in. There's the, the car that you wanna drive. There's the organic food that you love to eat, by the way, and it takes what? Resources. And then I know for some of you that are out there right now, you also have a, a vision for the people you were called to serve. And, and, I, and I think about someone like like Mother Dear, if you will. She's someone that, that I love, just like you have loved ones. And it takes resources to send your kids to a college of their choice. It takes resources in order for you to pay someone's insurance. It takes resources for you to make sure their mortgage is taken care of. And then I believe you have a third vision, by the way. You have a third vision. I believe you have a vision for the people you were called to serve. And I want you to imagine, I happen to be a believer. You don't have to happen to be a, you don't have to be a believer, but imagine you're Noah. Noah's in the Bible, right? And, and Noah has this vision from God, right? He has the experience. He has the ex expertise and he shows up ready for his assignment, just like you are, by the way. And then he gets the message, <clears throat> Noah, excuse me, before you start, we got to give you a report. There are no hammers. We have no hammers, but don't worry. Okay. No hammers. No big deal. We're going to go ahead and get started. We're ready to rock and roll. Uh, Nor, excuse me, one more time, Nor. Sorry to bother you. There's no hammer and there's no nails. We're here to report. Okay, no hammers, no nails, <laughs> no big deal. We, new, rule number one: don't panic. <clears throat> Nor, right. uh, you might want to panic. Uh, last time, there are no, mm, there's no wood, and we can't locate any people, no team to put the boat together. Good luck on this journey. <sighs> And that's you. You went to school. That's you. You think you know everything. That's you. You worked hard. You studied. And yet you're not getting the results. Well, today, this morning, this afternoon, whatever time is for you, Zenobia came to give you the resources necessary to execute that vision that you have for the people you were called to serve. That means she's going to help you get the revenue. So with that being said, let me welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the one and only Zenobia Andrews. What's up, Zenobia? And I think we might have lost it for just a second there, just a second. No worries. Rule number one, don't panic. What's rule number two? Don't panic. <laughs> no, but in all, in all seriousness, in all seriousness, let me just see here. Let me see if I can get her. I think we may have uh, may have lost it for just a second, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a second, and we're going to. We're going to make this thing happen right away. So let me make sure. Give me one second. Give me one second. And we're going to bring her back in. We're going to bring her. Let's see if it connects there. No big deal. All right. Mic check. Mic check. Is ah. that better? Oh, that's much better. It looks much clearer, too. Much better. Much clearer. We didn't oh. panic. We didn't panic because rule number one is don't panic. This is what happens when you're live, ladies and gentlemen. That's what happens when you're live, when you're online. <laughs> Hey, you, you, look, you, look, you look great there. You look great there. So say hello to everyone, if you will. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm sorry about the disconnect, but it's nothing going to stop us from us being able to connect today. So um, hello, hello. I'm excited. I, I love what you do as an entrepreneur. I, I, I love how you continue to move forward. Look, for those folks that are out there saying, whoa, did, did she just pivot? The answer is yes. Was that real time? The answer is yes. Did she panic? No. 
Talk about having to make those changes when things don't go the way you want them to and, and why that's so important for Jessica Daniels that's out there right now. William Redmond is out there right now. And there's so many other folks that are out there right now. And she is, ladies and gentlemen, she's on her phone right now. Like you can see, like she was on another device and now she just switched and she's right there. So you might just push it down just a little bit, just a little bit so they can see your head. There you go. That's perfect. There you go. There you go. See, real time. You can see her. She's moving over a little bit. She's adjusting it. And this is what happens, ladies and gentlemen, in the real world. There you go. Now you might come a little bit towards me. Like a little bit towards that away? Yes. There you go. Now they can see you. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Now, now what happens when you have to pivot like like now? Do you and you get things straight and so forth? Um, do you do you start sweating over there? Because I know what happens to me. I just start sweating, man. I get all not, nervous. I start talking not, fast. No, actually, I just want it, I want it right for the, the viewers. And so as long as they can see me and they can hear me, I'm ready to roll. Like, I, this is cool. It's, it's just a little tech difficulties, but nothing's going to stop us from being able to connect and share and be able to um, support our viewers today. So I, I love that. And, and the, the people are wondering, what do you tell yourself in a situation like this right now? Like, what's going through your mind? Before we get to how to make money online, like, what does uh, Zenobia think about when something like this happens and she's live? Like this is real. Not me. Typically, I'm just like, okay, how can we make it right? How can we fix it? Let's just fix it. So it's not a really a matter of stressing out. I mean, I can't control. I've learned as I got no, as I've gotten older, that I can't stress over things that I can't control. I can only try to adapt, like you said earlier, and and try to make it better. You know, hey, at least we're on here. We're trying. That's 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 what. <laughs> When is when you try. <laughs> well, you look great. For everyone out there that's watching right now, look right below the video and say, Zenobia, you look great. Say, Zenobia, you are wonderful. Say, Zenobia, you're awesome. Say, thanks a lot, Zenobia, for hanging in the fight because she's a fighter. <laughs> yeah. I love and, it. and entrepreneurs at the end of the day, isn't that what it's all about? It's about being a fighter. It's about it keeping on going no matter fighting. what. Uh, take a moment and kind of frame this conversation around this topic that you have going on around really how to build a highly profitable online business. Um, why is that important now more than ever? Yeah, sure. So to frame it, um, it would be relevant because data shows us right now, Shay, that, um, you know, when you look at users online and the amount of time spent with your mobile device, which everyone can keeps their mobile device with them. They go to the restroom with it. They go out to eat. They go, they sit down at the kitchen table with it. Data shows that right now, 2020, users are on this device at a, at a rate of 70% higher than any time ever, ever in past history. 70% more increased traffic right now with your mobile device. And they're looking to purchase. They're looking to buy um, your products and your services. So why not be available? Why not be present? Why not be visible to those people that have this 70% increase? So right now, it's a really amazing time to be able to build an online business. Um, and that that's not just an opportunity, but that's a profitable opportunity for those that need what you have to share and, and sell online. And so that's that's really what's most important right now as I look at building an online business. I know we're going to get into a couple of the pillars that you have um, in, turn, in, turn, in order to build this online business, but I'm curious for the persons out there now that's thinking, uh, I like the concept, but I'm not even a techie. Should I pay attention? Like, I'm not a techie. Like, oh my gosh. And, and, and you know, I haven't even finished my book. And oh, oh, by the way, I don't know if I have all my content together. Uh, is this conversation going to be relevant to, to that person that's listening right now? It is. It is. Because and if you think about it, um, you know, the, the key here is that all of those things that you said that they have, I have content, I have a book, I have this idea, right? It's, it's, it's just a matter of now making that available for users online. And, you know, is that does that mean you have to hire someone? Maybe possibly. Is, does that mean that you make it learn how to do it yourself? Whatever it takes at this point for you to be able to open up this, you know, this as an option as part of your financial portfolio, that's what you should do. Um, you know, it, it, it has not been fun for many people that have went through what we've just went through um, in the last past 60 to 90 days. 
you know, many people have lost their jobs. Many people have been severed. Many people are wondering they're living paycheck to paycheck because they, they you know, not judging. They didn't have a big savings account set up. So what are we going to do now moving forward as a result of what we've just and are experiencing now? That's to take those ideas and those products and those books and those services and those ideas that you have, that brick and mortar and making it more relevant, making it available for users that are using this 70 percent device more than they ever have before in history. So. So, yeah. You know, that's one of the things that I admire about you with maxed out marketing is that you're doing some amazing folks and helping folks. And she's very being very generous, by the way. She gets it on the branding side. She gets it on the marketing side. She gets it on the implementation side. So my good friend is out there like Christina Holmes right now and Deborah Gardner. I got to connect with Deborah Gardner. This is an amazing human being out of Phoenix, Arizona in the Hall in the um, Speaker Hall of Fame and does some amazing things. Is totally agreeing with your conversation right now. But they all want to know. Shane, be quiet. Can she give us one pillar? Can she give us an idea like right now that we can help build this online business? Enough of the chit chat. So can we get down to the money time? Yes, <laughs> can, you, yes. can you share one or two of these pillars, by the way? I couldn't I couldn't resist it. You're such a cool person. I, I got love lost. it. I love part two. It's always fun to be here with you. Um, I'd say number one from the jump, it would be you got to be willing to have a, a, a a mindset of sacrifice. So, you know, you can't do anything of great significance without that mindset of I'm willing to sacrifice. Maybe it's your time. Maybe it's your patience because some of us aren't, you're not patient. It's worth crap. Like we try something and it don't work. We give up, right? You've got to be willing to place your position in your mindset um, with that first pillar being um, sacrifice. Like you have to be willing to, you know, learn something new or hire someone that you've maybe, maybe never worked with before to do something that you don't know how to do. But there has to be that sweat equity of I'm going to put it all in. I'm going to put it on the table because I see the big picture. I see the big picture. I see where we could possibly go with this business, with this idea. You know, so I've got to be willing to put the cards on the table. And some people are just scared. So we've got to not be scared, although we don't know, because some of the sometimes when we don't know something, especially on the online tech side, um, we we allow fear to kind of creep in and it's, oh, I don't know about it. I don't. Understand. So we don't do it. We hinder we hinder ourselves. We, we kind of we don't move forward. And so you got to be willing to make the sacrifice and the commitment to say, I'm going to do it. And that's that. So that would be my number one number. And my number two would be mm-hmm. you got to be willing to outside of, of creating that mindset of sacrifice. You've got to be willing to look at your business from a vision standpoint and say, hey, how do I what does this look like as in, in terms of making money? What does it look like in terms of building out a systematic visual blueprint that says, if I do this, if I start this online business, pillar two says I need a sales system. I need a sales funnel. I need a visual representation of how this is going to come to reality from the beginning, because if I can't see it, if I can't look at it on paper, if I can't visually look at it and say, hey, as a result of step one, two, three, four, five, at step six, I'm going to be able to potentially make this type of revenue then it makes sense to me. So you need a visual representation of how are you going to take an ideal client from the beginning to the end. And that's that's what we call a sales funnel. You need some type of visual representation of how you're going to make your money. Um, so that would be number two. So number one was have the right mindset. If I'm yep. right, I think I believe you said number two was to have a sales funnel, which is very yep. important. You're going through the, the, the pillars that it takes to build an online business. But I'm just curious um, if we can slow down and then we'll speed up. Um, what's the number one thing that holds people back from just getting going? Like they might be listening like, wow, Shay, I've heard all this before, but guess what? I, I ain't done it or I tried it and it didn't work. Um, what's some of the challenges people have getting their online business off the ground? And maybe you're going to answer that with number three and four, but I'm just kind of curious what your thoughts are. I believe there's several challenges depending on how how long um, that individual has been in business or how big their brand is, uh, what's their culture, what's their belief system. Because I believe that your belief system is a, a, a an actual it is it is the reality for which you live. You know, and many of us were given a belief system when you were young, like you were given what you typically think from a spiritual standpoint. Your mama told you, yeah, you're going to go to this church. They said, oh, you're going to do go to college and you're going to. So what's your belief system? What do you think is possible? So I think it, it is it's to, the biggest challenge is mental. It's the mindset. And then when you want to think in the terms of more practical challenges, yeah, you may not know what the hell you're doing. Like you may not. So then you need to hire somebody. You really need because it's not your genius. If it's not your genius, don't do it. 
because you're going to waste your money, your time. You're going to be frustrated and then you're going to say it didn't work. And so um, I always I don't want to play small. I want to play big. And if it's not your timing yet financially, save your money, like save your resources to get to that place so you can hire the right team so so that you can implement it the right way and win on your level with where you are. Win on your level with where you are right now. So playing big at your level may not be at the same level as I am or at where Shay is, but whatever your level is, win at that level, get started, right? No matter those challenges, no matter that mind, you know, the belief that you have and move forward. I mean, like, I mean, I had the technical difficulties earlier, but it didn't stop me. We're going to keep, we're going to get this show. We're going to, I'm going to move my head where I need to have it. (laughs) Right. So, um, yeah, this is great. This is great. So that was my one and two. Yeah, uh, so, number- so you gave us number one and two. She's now on pillar number three for those folks out there, like Minister Alfreda Jones. Thanks for joining, by the way. Von M. Griggs, Eric Herlick, uh, Christine Holmes, and so many folks. You're at the right place at the right time, hearing the right message from the person who is the founder of Maxed Out Marketing. And this is what she does every day, all day. There was no pivot for her. This is what she was already doing. You just pivoted and found out about who she is and that she's on the planet. And that's why I'm happy she's here right now. So take it away. Give us a three and four, if you will. Yes. And I I do want to share with our viewers is that these are not in any chronological order. So these are all all the different pillars that you would need to utilize to be able to build the online business. They're not in any chronological order. Number three um, is you need to have a clear offer. Offer, O-F-F-E-R. You need to have a clear offer. What does that look like? What is what is your offer when you think about it? Your service or your product, you know, it could be a tangible product. We could be an e-commerce or we could have an actual service-based business. Whatever that offer is that you're presenting to the world, is it clear? You can have the most amazing idea, opportunity, product or service, you know, but if it's not clear and I don't understand what it is, then I'm not interested. And, and not only that, Shay, one of the things that I tapped into a couple of years ago, and it's kind of prophetic a little bit, but it's when you and I can visit, position our business and the solutions that we solve or the excitement that we give from a service based standpoint. Right. When you and I can prophetically foresee what our users need before they even get there. That's the kachin. That's the money. That's the like, uh uh-huh. You there, girl, you there, you got it. You, you, Man, that's it. How can you foresee what your users, what your, what the problems that you're solving? If I know, for, for example, we're in a pandemic right now. If I know right now in August, as a result of everything that everyone is going through right now, what potentially they may need, how can I service that? How can I make my offer so clear that before they even get there, I'm already presenting it to them? And they're like, well, how the hell do they know I would need that? That's how you generate not just predictable results, but you generate wealthy generational results. Like you want to create that type of clear product offers so that people know that this is the real deal. And so it would be number uh, number three would definitely be your offer needs to be clear. It needs to be precise. It needs to make sure that it's solving relevant problems. But you need to get ahead of the problem, not just solve the problem, but get ahead of the problem. Oh, I love that. Get ahead of the problem. For those folks that are out there, I'm sure Zenovia would agree with me. Uh, like Sherry Summers that says, what's up? She's out there watching Tanisha Moody and so many folks that are tuning in right now. You can go ahead and hit the share button. Like, I mean, Zenobia believes in the giver's economy, I'm sure. The person out gives the competition, out earns the competition. So although she would normally be maybe sharing this to a, a private group, right now she's here with the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe, but she's also okay with you paying it forward to your network, to your tribe. So how do you do that? Hit the share button. Uh, hit the watch party button and when you hit that button just say it's time to serve online hashtag Zenobia Andrews just say it's time to serve yeah she said you're going to make some money but she also said you got to solve a problem yeah you're going to get paid but you're also going to help some folks so go ahead and put just hit the share button for those who hit it we appreciate it hit it right now um hit the, hit, the, hit the watch party button Zenobia says she's not holding back and we're going to bless another entrepreneur Your big breakthrough could be your big takeaway could be someone else's big breakthrough. So hit hit the share button. You said Shay said it three times. Yes, because we want to help other folks. 
And that's what this is all about. Zenova didn't ask for a cash app payment before we got started. She didn't say send her a <laughs> Zelly payment, no credit card. She said, hey, I'm here to serve, Shay. I'm here to show up and give the best I have because this is when folks need it the most. And you're online, so why wouldn't you share it? All right, go on over if you can to, um, to number uh, five, I believe. We're on number five or number four? Number four. Number four, okay. Number four. Number four is, it's near and dear to me. It's, um, it's the need, it's the fourth pillar. It's the need for higher education. And so what I mean by that is you have to become the master, the guru, the influencer. You know, you have to be the best of the best in your area, in your lane, in your niche, in your sphere of influence. And how do you become that? You, 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 you need to be the smartest one around when it comes to your area of expertise. Now, will you be the smartest? Who knows? But you are you are attempting to be the best of the best. I mean, we live in a in, we are inundated. We live in an industry in a time now where we are information overload. Like it, there's information everywhere. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. I mean, Instagram now Instagram used to be about photos and imagery. It's now content, content driven that will support your leads and your customers. So you need to be you need to demand yourself to sit up at the table and create a system where you are reading so many books a month or so many books a year. You're listening to different reading, different articles. You're you're joining different um, communities, blogs. You know, you are you're 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 setting a system up where you are the guru. You are the expert. You the boss like you the you the you the one. And that takes time. That takes commitment and effort. Um, there's I can't tell you how many times from an agency standpoint, you know, we bu we're, we're building out programs and contents and training courses and modules. And for, for customers that say that they are, you know, and I don't want to be negative, Nancy, but they say that they are an expert in this area. You know, so if you give me a, a manual or, or, or a blog or something, you say, Z, this is about marketing. I shouldn't read that information and be like, well, I don't I don't, I don't know what that is. I'm uncomfortable teaching that it's marketing. Right. So if it's if it's if you are an expert in in uh, trichology, right, you're an expert. So there's no conversation that you should feel uncomfortable, uncomfortable about when it comes to trichology or whatever it may be. Um, so just education for sure is, is one of the top pillars. Um, it's near to my heart. I think it just takes more of your um, sacrifice that goes back to number one. But it's extremely important as an entrepreneur. Extremely important. You know, as you're going through these four, uh, six pillars, which are very important, um, Someone might be thinking, you know, Zenobi uh, got it going on, okay? She has the husband, she got the family, she got the kids. She don't have no problems. Life, what does she know about, like, little old me who's had to go through some challenges? Um, I know this wasn't part of what we're going to talk about, but as you're going through these pillars, do you mind maybe sharing a time where maybe something didn't work out for you and, and how you were able to switch your business or switch things around so they kind of understand? If, if you never had any setbacks, then just say, Shay, I had no setbacks and that's fine but no, maybe there's I, been a challenge along this road that you can um share with us and that yeah, we can I hear wish, about I, that i wish i could say that and i didn't have any setbacks i mean i i told you all from the beginning we started from the bottom and we're here and i say that from a, a, a humility standpoint um i grew up from a very um financially um challenged home you know if i could just be just black and white and transparent we were poor we were poor government challenged poor and was I loved? Yes. Did they did, did we do the best we could? My grandparents, my family, they did the best they could. Um, and, you know, I was brought up in a very small community, rural city, rural little country in, um, in Florida. And they you were doing good if you graduated from high school and you worked at a you know, you, you went to a vocational tech. You're not college wasn't even a goal. Like it was if you can go finish high school and go to a tech school, you were winning, girl. You were great. And so as I was young and I heard those, you know, the, those, you know, those ambitions, something didn't settle with me. And I believe even now, you know, as many of our viewers are listening, you've been told what you should be, how you put people putting you in a box, what you ought to do and et cetera. But you're saying there has to be more. You're saying that, you know what, there's something on the inside of me that's saying there's got to be more than what you're telling me. And so for me, Shay, there was more. Um, that's what they told me. Vocation is what they told me. But I said, you know what? I have bigger dreams. And so I knew that those bigger dreams, like you all that are viewing, watching us now, those dreams are going to cost us something. They're going to cost us the education, the time that I said earlier. They're going to cost you, you know, letting people go that are negative, that they're toxic. They're pulling you down. You can't even you can't even get your dreams going because you're worried about their dream. You got to let their you got to let their dreams go so you can get busy about your business. 
And so I had to cut some people off and um, I played college basketball at the University of South Carolina. I have fought for every single thing that I have today. I mean, I fought for everything. And so now as my as what they said and, and about me and, and the things that it cost me, my sacrifice, my time, my hard work, my reward now, Shay, is I don't even and not to sound arrogant, but I'm over that, too. I don't even know what the price of gas is. I haven't made my bed up in seven years, maybe 10 now. Uh, I live that life. I am her. I am her. I am that chick right there. That When I say you started from the bottom, now you're here. I just left from a Lamborghini lot and then I drove over to the to the Range Rover lot. Like it's but it's my hard work. It's my sacrifice. And I don't say that to brag, but that's my reward. Now, you our reward is if we put in the work, we sacrifice in due time, if we don't give up, we'll get to that place that we've been dreaming about. We'll get to that to that ta-da place. But it doesn't happen overnight. And yes, I'm married. Yes, I have the kids that I worked hard as hell for. And it's taken me years to get here. But if I can do it, if the small town girl, small town girl can get there, anybody can get there. And I truly believe that. Truly, with all my heart, I believe that. Yeah, and I believe you as well. We have to take the camera out back and shoot some basketball. She can, I, I believe she can still shoot a jumper. I believe she can still hit a jumper. <laughs> I had to break that up. I just couldn't resist that. I couldn't resist that. You don't want that. You don't want none of this. Thing. I don't I, want I, that. I, I don't know. Want that. I don't want that. <laughs> See, it's coming out. It's still there. She said, I still got it. I can tell you have children or you have kids that are growing because the same way you, you always got to remind them, I still got it. I still got this thing. That's right. Okay, That's back right. to our regularly scheduled program. You're helping us build our online business. You're breaking it down. You've given us uh, four principles. Give us a recap of the four principles and then give us number five and number six. And for those folks that are out there, um, look right below the video. You look right below the video. You can take these notes as she's speaking. So give us all four and then give us number five and number six, just so we can get a sure. recap. Absolutely. So number one, we say is you got to be willing to make a sacrifice, right? Mm. Sacrifice. Yeah. Number two, you've got to have a visual representation, which is of this business, which will be your sales funnel. So number one is sacrifice. Number two is sales funnel. Number three, you have to have a clear offer. Your offer has to be clear to your end users. And then number four, we said you have to be educated. You've got to have some education. We got to be smart. We don't like lazy learners. You got to be educated. Number five would be you have to be able to establish hard goals, hard goals. Like, what are your goals? Like, before we even get started, what's your goal? You know, people are they get so busy about, you know, building a business. Et well, why are we building it? Is it for you to be able to pay for your child's education? You know, kids cash for you to be able to go to the Lamborghini lot like I just left from. What, what's your goal? You know, and then, you know, you want to break those goals down to steps that you can execute. Like they have goals, you have your mini goals to be able to execute those bigger goals. And then number six is it's connected to number one, you have to have faith. You have to have faith. If you don't have faith in, in, in what you're doing and your ability to get it done, then why are we doing any of it? Because there's going to be times when it's going to be quiet. There's going to be, you know, you're going to be uh, launching a campaign or you're going to be in the middle of, 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 of selling a service or in a, 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 a doing something huge in your business online, you're going to be launching your new brand and it's going to be quiet. You're not going to get the likes or you won't be getting the, the engagement, the number of traffic. People are like, why aren't people, why aren't I getting that? You got to have faith that when no one else is liking your stuff, you like it. When no one else is up with you or there with you, you have faith to be with yourself and you're happy and content. I woke up this morning, just as happy, I'm happy as hell. I'm, ha I'm, I'm a happy <laughs> entrepreneur because I have faith that what I do is right. It's good. I'm not shake. I'm not. You can't move me from this spot. Like we got to be you have to have faith where it, and you have to be a little bit crazy, Shay, with the faith. You got to have some faith. that's like if this girl say this one more time, like you, you need to get on people's nerves with your the fervency, the fire, the, the belief, the faith that you have about your business. And so that will be number six is have faith. Number one, number two, she gave us six ways that you can build your business. And she believes that now is the right time to do that. And I believe you have exactly what you need right now to get going. You know, I'm, I'm curious if I can, as you was breaking down those six pillars, I wanted to share with you one of our core philosophies here at the Happy Entrepreneur Show, which is um, our core belief. And for those folks that know what that belief is, that belief is that today is my January 1st. And for those folks listening out there, if you already know and you're a regular, you can look right below the video. You can write, today is my January 1st. For those folks that are hearing it for the very first time, today is my January 1st. First represents one of those moments and there's thousands of moments throughout the day where you get to make a decision 
And that decision could forever change the trajectory of your life, right? So you make a decision to either work out while you're home or you sit back and binge watch, watch uh, Netflix. Um, you make a decision to eat hamburgers and french fries with a little salt and pepper and ketchup, of course, on there. You got to have that. Or, or, or you tell yourself, I'm going to go to the refrigerator. I'm going to open it up. And there's some spinach. I'll have some of that. There's some broccoli. I'll, I'll have a little bit of that. Uh, there's even some Brussels sprouts. I'll have a little bit of that. So January 1st is a fresh start. It's a do-over. It's any day on the calendar you want to make it. For those folks that are out there right now, Zenobia, and I'm asking today for them to write those words, today is my January 1st. When you hear those words, Today is my January 1st. What do you hear? What does it mean to you? It means that um, for me personally, it means that I'm going to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it anyway. It in the anyway for me is no matter what challenges I may come across, no matter the, the, the lack of resources, no matter the, the, um, the, the, the disbelief, right? No matter what happens, COVID-19, no matter you know, what happens in life, I'm going to do it any way and I'm going to stay focused at it. I'm going to finish what I started. So I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care what you, I don't care. Look, I'm sitting here in the house on fire. It's like, they like, mama, come. Mama, we got to go. I'm like, I'm doing this. We're going to do this right here, right here. <laughs> and that's my, and that's everything. Shay, like that's everything. I'm going to do it anyway. And so that's my, that's my mantra. That's my motto. And a lot of people are, and you know, you know, the enemy to our soul. The What's enemy that? to our soul is, is, is you have a goal, you have a dream, you have a desire, you're good at it. If I was the enemy to your soul, what I would do is every 90 days, I'd present another idea and another idea. And, another, and before you know it, you got like all of these ideas in your hand. And then you know what happens? You end up only doing, you end up doing all of these ideas, right? Instead of just sticking with that one thing, that one thing that you are amazing at. Why not stick at that one thing that you're amazing at versus that? I'll give you all of these ideas. No, I'm doing this right here anyway. I'm going to I'm going to build the best online full service digital marketing agency that anyone has ever seen. I'm not going over there starting. I'm not starting a home designer company. I'm not starting a new um, pharmaceutical company. I'm going to stay right here. So do it anyway, no matter how many ideas you have. Don't drop your main thing because you got another idea. Who can, you, you're going to have plenty of ideas. Do this idea right here and finish it to the end. So I that would be my start. I love it. Said said so well. What was the January one moment for you? And you probably had so many throughout your career and life where you decided you was going to plant your flag. You're going to draw a line in the sand and you were going to help entrepreneurs on this journey. Like what was that moment in time that you knew that that, that this was it for you? Yeah. Um, for me, it's it's a it's more for so along the, the lines of clarity mm -hmm. when people think about. So, so I help individuals build those brands, build those businesses online. Um, it's it's showing them that it's doable, that you can take what it is that your gifts, your talents, your products, your services. And we can present those. We can package that online to the world, to the world, to China, to, to Hawaii, to Florida. Like it doesn't matter. And so for me, being able to give that gift to someone that's in Houston, Texas, and they can share their genius to the world, that's amazing. Like, that's extraordinary. Like that. And so for me, that was my aha. That's my, that's my passion. That's, that's, that's what I love to do. Mm, I love it. You know, there's some folks out there, they're writing, today is my January 1st. Sylvia Nixon and so many folks are really excited right now. And for some folks, they were excited as well back on December 31st, by the way, after a couple of drinks on the back of a napkin, they were writing down their resolutions. And for some, that didn't end too well, right? And I don't know if you know this, but January 17th is National Ditch Your Resolution Day, right? So they didn't even make it past January 17th. Y'all all can go Google that. But but my question to you, Zenobia, is um, uh -huh. you've probably heard consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. And having said that, most folks struggle, my hand is raised, with consistency. So my question is, what do you tell your clients? What do you teach for folks in order for them to hashtag stay the course and to be consistent once they get on this journey? Can, can I be honest with you? Yeah. Well, and I don't want to offend anyone, but I want to be honest. Um, if... If you are still in 2020 right now with where we are, with everything that's happened in the world, if you still need motivation and discipline to finish or your goals and the things that you are inspiring to do, I can't help you. Like I'm not, 
no one, you're the, you got to do that. There's nothing that I can say on this screen to motivate you and inspire you. If you haven't had enough, that's enough. That's enough in your own in your own life of what you've dealt with and what you've seen in the past and where you're trying to go. If that's not enough motivation and inspiration to keep you focused and to kind of stir that same that same excitement up. You got to wake up with the excitement. The, the excitement has to become you. You've got to be present to be that motivation. And so there's nothing that because what happens is if you go to church on Sunday and you get excited by T.D. Jakes and he gives it. Well, what happens on Wednesday when you're not excited no more? You got to become your own excitement, your own focus, your own motivation, because that that's going to that's going to dwindle down. That's going to be dilute. So you got to you got to pray to be what you want and what you want to see moving forward. And when you become the essence of that, then you're winning. Because it's going to be it's going to be too up and down. So I'm not here to motivate anybody to go back to January. Hell, we're in June. You got to you got to want it for yourself right now. I can't. And I and I choose not to. And I only want to play with people that are fully committed to say, I don't I don't need motivation. You come in here and shit, this stuff's changing because you walked in the room. So it's 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 that mindset. And that's the winner's mindset. And and, and maybe you're not there yet. And if you're not there yet, you've got to get to that place. And stay there and stop being wishy-washy. We just use it all over the place. It can't be that way. It can't be that way. You're not making any money that way. We want predictable results. We want I want don't you want predictable money? So I want predictable people, consistent people. I don't want I don't want that wishy-washy folk. We don't want that. We don't want to know what kind of mood they're gonna be. We trying to make money Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every day. Every day. Man, I love it. I love it. You know, the folks out there may be wondering, how can they best connect with you? I want you to kind of frame the conversation, if you would, um, so you can lay the foundation. And, and I know that you want to do something so that folks can stay in this conversation over and beyond today. So they, they can get a visual representation. But I'll let you go ahead and, and kind of share uh, what you have prepared, what you have up your sleeve, if I can say that. She's pulling back the big black curtain. She's looking at her treasure chest of secrets right now, and she's oh. got something for you. So for those folks that are out there, I want you to look right below and pay attention like you've never paid attention before. Take I it away. It. So we've been talking about you know building an online business, and one of the things that I have learned throughout building my business is the the need and the value of systems in your business by way of your marketing systems, your finance, your operations, your sales, and having a really set plan um, in place with your systems. And so um, I want to give everyone online today a free copy digitally of my allsystemsgobook.com, allsystemsgobook.com, um, a solid blueprint to build business and maximize cash flow. If you go to um, allsystemsgobook.com, you can get a free copy of this book. This book right here alone, this is the book where it took me and my husband's business, our pharmaceutical company, from $67,000 um, per quarter to $2.4 million per quarter. It was based on these systems. I encourage you, if you hear my voice or if you're listening to the replay of this amazing uh, Happy Entrepreneur broadcast, go to allsystemsgobook.com. Download this book. Get the systems to your life. This is everything. All right, so so give um, us give us the website a little slower. You notice she was able to get the book to fit in that box. She was like, wait a minute, I can get this book to fit now. Y'all going to see this book. Y'all going to see this book. <laughs> I love it. See, she's maxed out marketing. They just make it happen. That's just what they do over there. So let's all go over to www. Give it to us a little slow. Now, for those yeah. folks that are on the podcast, or if you listen to the replay, or maybe you're on Apple TV or Roku, if this site is still up, then you can go get it as well, okay? And if you're watching, you're like, well, it's not for me. Can I share this with someone else? Well, the answer is yes. I believe Zenobia will be okay with you. It might not be for you. Maybe like, well, I don't know if it's for me, but I know someone else. No, you can take the site. She's going to give it to you, and you can share it with someone else. So say it a little slower. And if she does, let's all open up a browser. Let's, let's just make sure the site works. Sometimes they don't work. Okay, what's the site? It is www.allsystems, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A-L-L, -L, mm -hmm. systems, S-Y-S-T-E-M-S, -S, which is plural, book, all systems go, I'm sorry, G-O, book, B-O-O-K, all systems go book.com. All, all systems go, but here we go. We verified that the site works. So this is a good sign. This is a good sign. The site does work. Um, it says create systems that will focus on the one thing we all need the most cash flow. Now yeah. you can't just tell us about, take a moment to talk about, I know it sounds obvious. It's going to sound so stupid, but 
the, the importance of just cash flow in the business. I, I know for some of you out there, you want to have all the resources necessary to execute it. And it takes cash, right? I know you want to have more meaning in the world. That means you need more money. That's what I'm asking to do that. Some of you want to have more impact in the world and it takes more what? Income. And some of you want to make a dollar and a difference at the same time. And that's possible. So Zenova is going to talk about why she has that at the top. It's at the top. I didn't make it up, ladies and gentlemen. She says, number one, create systems that will focus on the one thing we all need as business people. Why is that number one? And take a minute and talk about that. And I'm going to check, see if it works. Let's all click the button. Let's click the button, see if it works. Oh, it does work. Okay, this is good. I'm going to let you take it away. You guys, while she's talking about it, go ahead and put your information in. And if you don't get the book for whatever reason, you call me. No, no, no. Yeah. You call, you, you, you reach out to Zenobia. If you don't get it, I'm going to check it. So I'm sure it works, but you go yeah. do it right now. All right, Zenobia, talk about cash yeah. flow and why that's important. Yes. 14,000 downloads, my, may I add, as, as for that. This book has been downloaded over 14,000 times. So you definitely want to be one of those. Um, cash flow is important because it makes your business. It keeps your business withstanding um, situations like COVID-19, this pandemic that we're in. Cash flow allows you to keep running your business. If you don't have cash flow, how are you going to pay your staff? How are you going to pay your team? How are you going to launch your campaigns? How are you going to be able to resource and purchase the things, your, your, your production, your equipment, your product? You need cash flow. And so within the cash flow, one of the things you want to make sure an element of your cash flow, part of your system is you want to have funnels, campaigns that will continually increase and generate cash flow back into your business. So um, you need cash flow to be able to run a business. You can't run it without cash flow. Um, so that this book is great. It'll help you. All systems go book.com will help you build um, those type of systems in your business today, right now, today, you'll get the digital download if you opt in right now. And then also, if you follow me on social media, Instagram uh, and on Facebook, it's Zenovia Andrews, Z as in zebra, E-N as in Nancy, O-V-I-A, Andrews, Zenovia Andrews. I would love to follow you back and support you. I heard her say she does follow back. And that's kind of important. Most folks don't say they're going to follow back. She says she is going to follow back. So tell them again, where can they connect with you on social media? Sure. It's Zenovia Andrews on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, all the platforms, uh, Pinterest, Zenovia spelled Z as in zebra, E-N as in Nancy, O, V as in victory, I-A, Zenovia Andrews, A-N-D-R-E-W-S. I would love to follow you back. I like your stuff. I engage with you. I, you know, I'm, I'm your girl. I'm, I'm the, I'm a very humble sister, preneur with you. Um, rather if you're male or female viewers, it doesn't matter. I'm here cheering you on. Um, and I'd love to support you. I love the one thing she said earlier, she says, I'm that chick. I mean, that, that was her words, not my words. And she said that so, so lovingly, by the way, uh, take a moment, if you would, to, to talk about the importance of, of affirmations, the importance of having a core mm -hmm. belief system. Oh. And oh. maybe you'll share one of your favorite affirmations. I know there's so many, and this is kind of putting you on the spot, but there's so many out there. And for those folks that are out there right now, if you have your favorite affirmation or your favorite belief system that holds you grounded, I know there's so many, it's hard to pick one, but in the time that we have, Zenobia, take a minute and talk about maybe one affirmation and, and why it's near and dear to you and something that keeps you not inspired, but keeps you going and grounded. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad that you're ending. I didn't I didn't know we were going that way, but I'm glad that you Well, you said I can talk about anything. She didn't give me yes. any questions. She said, Shay, we're going to just hang out and we're going to talk yeah. to the people. So I, yeah. this is so awesome. I love this conversation because I uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I do weekly intentions every single Sunday afternoon. I do a weekly intention for my week. My intention is what I expect to see before it even happens. I'm putting it out in the universe. I'm saying it. I'm declaring it over my life, over my children, over my family, over my business. So intentions and affirmations are extremely important, um, extremely important. And one of my, it's going to sound a little bold. It's going to sound a little, this girl, this chick is really, I actually tell myself every day, every Sunday, you the one. I'm, I'm the one. You've got to believe that. And when I say I'm the one, I'm the one that I can get her done. I'm the one that I believe that whatever intentions, whatever goals, whatever ambitions I have, I'm her. I can step up to the challenge. I have faith in myself to believe I'm the one. 
And if you, when you are, when you have that mindset and you embrace that, you like your own posts, you invest in your ideas, you sacrifice, you've got to be your number one fan. I am my number one fan. I am her. I am her. I, I am the vibe. I am the one that walk in the room. I shift my energy, my ideas. I attract. I'm, you have to be that confident. No, it's not arrogant. No, it's not prideful. God created us to be just that bold. Do we know what we got? Everything we need. And so we, I walk with that confidence. I think with that confidence, you the one, I'm the one. And so that is my number one declaration that I say to myself every day I look in the mirror. I love it. Um, you the one, I'm the one. One of the things you may not have been aware of, Zenobia, that on every episode, we always talk about the Happy Entrepreneur Manifesto because similar to you, we had some core beliefs that we had that were very core beliefs to us. And there were a number of folks out there and they were like, you know what, Shay, how can you share this with us and then just like you would do you would go through it and and we would say you know what during the day sometimes there's some core beliefs that you want to have so we're on a mission by the way to put this in front of 10 million sales professionals there's no upsell no down sale it's just our big give back to the world and, and some of our, our core beliefs in our own manifesto and i maybe i'll get you just to chat about one of them that's on here and one of the beliefs that helped one of our folks and i'll read it to you so you don't worry about that was i believe spending quality time with family is non-negotiable now that came up because she had downloaded this it was no cost to her and she had it in front of her and said look shay during this time i didn't realize i was spending more time in my office because I'm now a stay-at-home mom and a stay-at-home entrepreneur than I was with my family. And I didn't realize that because now I'm trying to build my business. I said, you know, I got to stop that. I said, well, I believe automation is the key to reclaiming my time. There is a 25th hour. That 25th hour comes from automation. There are more than 1,440 minutes in every day when you automate your business. But here's the one I want to ask you about. And then while you're doing it, I'll let you guys know how y'all can download this. There's no cost. I'll give you a number you can text into. But here's our belief. And I'll say it to you slowly because I know you're looking at a small screen. But one of our core beliefs are, well, they're all good because I wouldn't have them on here. Because <laughs> they're all good. They're all, but here it is, seriously. <laughs> the results that show up in your life are mm. just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. Let me say that again so you can hear it. And I want you to talk about that because throughout this conversation, while you've talked about money, you've also talked about them in their own life. So I'll say it again. And this is something I learned the hard way, by the way. But the results that show up in your life hear me, hear me, are just as important as the results that show up in your bike account. I'm asking yeah. nobody to make a comment on that because she said she'd make a comment on anything today and she's here to hang out with you guys and for a little bit longer. We're almost done. But I want you, if you're interested, say, Shay, that makes sense. Shay, I want that. Shay, I'm all in. You can just text the word manifesto. Now, you text the word manifesto because we want to stay in a conversation with you as well. We want you to have this and we want you to pay it for it. If you're listening, you text it to 202 nine 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 three five one five do it now do it now it is now o'clock time <laughs> but you text the word manifesto to 202 nine 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 three five one five once you do that you get an instant response just hit the link go download it and then let me know which one resonated with you let me know which one you're going to share with someone else i want you to pay it forward to someone else so no we'll talk about the importance of the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. Yeah, that's that's a heavy one. I love it. And it's so true. And this manifesto is amazing. I've never, this is the just how you've commute um kind of combined everything together. Um, this is great. I'm gonna text. Can I take a screenshot so that I can take I'm gonna <laughs> yes, get it? Like, nobody's ever did that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this is that's the real deal. Like this, people I can't make no this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. I really can't. I wish <laughs> this is great. Like the, the ability to be able to remind yourself and to affirm and to declare those things over your life. And, and not only that, your children's lives, your, mm -hmm. your, your, your kid, your family, your sister, your brothers. And th this is awesome. Um, as it relates to the results in your life and there's a direct alignment with that that's in your bank account. Mm -hmm. I'll say this. The wealthy has not been that uh, concerned as it relates to their livelihood during this pandemic. They haven't struck, like they, they're, they're not struggling at all. <laughs> if anything, they're getting richer. They're buying stocks. They're looking at the market. We're, we're buying homes. We're buying complex. We're, buy, we're buying real estate, like literally. And so for you to position yourself um, in that way, to be able to live that type of life, it's possible for anybody, but it's, it's during the, it's the it's I, I call it the the, um, the preseason 
this is because th we're the, it's game time right now with COVID-19, with this whole pandemic. Th I feel like this is game time. We're in the game. Preseason is about to come back up again and it's going to be over. What are you going to do during this preseason? And this preseason may last another 10 years, another five years, and we'd be in another pandemic of something. So when the real game happens, like a pandemic, how are you going to be? How are you going to make sure that your money is aligned with what you've been practicing during preseason? Right. That's a direct reflection. So my lifestyle, the way that I live, the things that I've accomplished, I got money. I, there's it's a representation of an alignment in my bank account. And so I say that it's that's very much so true. And we want that. You desire that. We all desire that. But it's not going to come easy. It's going to take commitment, sacrifice and focus for sure to get there. But we can all get there. We can definitely get there. You know, I'm glad that you believe that that is so true. You know, you spent a lot of time with us. We certainly appreciate that. Uh, last question before you get to give your your, your final thoughts. And um, it's a two part question for folks that are listening right now. They might be wondering, number one. Uh, who, what type of clients does Zenovia or Andrews even work with? Um, because it, it might be the person watching right now. It might be someone that they know. And so they might be just kind of curious and you didn't get a chance to really talk to that. So I want you to speak to that so they know if they're the right ones or how they could best share your message with someone else. And that's, that's part one. And then, yeah, do part one first and then we'll do part two and then we'll close up. So we work with small business owners uh, and we no matter your niche. So small business owner, entrepreneur, it could be an author, coach, speak, uh, author, coach, speaker. Um, it could be a you could be an e-commerce. You could be selling products. You could have a chiropractor's office and you need us to help you build your brand, um, help you create sales funnels and market your business and do Facebook ads. We we are a full service digital marketing agency. So we do everything from content curation to building your brand to marketing it and promoting it online. Um, so we work with various niches and um, we have a really good system. I love what I do. I love it. We love it. Our team is amazing. Um, so, again, if you connect with me on any social media platform or whatever and you're interested in what we have to offer, we'd love to support you. Uh, just reach out to us and we can get it going. Uh, did that did that answer yep. the question? Yep. That's the question. The last question before we get your final thoughts is um, why do you still do this? Like um, you don't have to do this right now. You, yeah, you can certainly do something else with your time. Um, with your resources. And we know right now that everyone watching out there, all of you can make more money. There's no doubt about it. And Zenova can help you make more money. But but none of us, myself or you or you or you or you even watching or listening right now, none of us can make more time. Okay. We can always make more money, but we can't make more time. So just curious why you still show up like this without asking for a cash app payment or a Zelly payment or a wire transfer. Why do you still do this and pour out and give some of your best stuff as you're talking on these type of shows? Well, the biggest reason is um, just sharing the knowledge and the insight to people that have a desire and a heart to want to do it. Mm -hmm. Like it's a lot of people that, you know, they're maybe watching this broadcast and you really have the desire, the heart, the passion to build um, this business. And you don't know how you have no idea how to get started. It's confusing. It's, it's complicated to you. I love to break it down um, for, for, for my customers in a way that that's digestible and that they can actually they feel like they can do it like oh man that that makes sense so i love to help i love to give a more simplified way a more automated way in and really supporting entrepreneurs and you can make money like that making money is it's like that online like it's it's the greatest thing ever and if i can show people how to do that i love it and it's forever changing and it's not going anywhere mm -hmm. it's not gonna go anywhere not going well. I love it. With that being said, let me first say thank you so much for being on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. We certainly appreciate you, by the way. You're you're totally amazing. You got a heart to give. You have this big heart to serve. And you showed up and you played full out. And that means a lot to everyone that's out there and including myself. So we really appreciate that. Um, got to have you back. We got to make sure we all go and get the yeah. gift. Got to go get the gift. We got to go get the gift. Everyone right now, when she closes out, I asked her if she would give her closing comments. And she said, yes, some folks, you know, don't. But she said, no, Shay, uh, I don't mind sharing some words to empower, inspire folks um, when these cameras go away. And that's that's important. Some people say, well, no, they got to hire me. She says, no, no, I'll, I'll share my thoughts. And that's really special. So we at the Happy Entrepreneur Show, we appreciate it. Here's how you can give her a digital applause, by the way, for those folks that are watching. You can look right below the video, look right below the video, and you can put, thank you, Zenobia. Or we can put, we appreciate you, Zenobia. Or, or better yet, you can just put, what was your big takeaway? 
Because it's not about Zenobia. She's like, ah, don't worry about me, Shay. But maybe you put down your number one takeaway and someone else. I get it. These videos go viral. I get that. But someone else gets to see the comment and they get the benefit from what you learned as well. So that's how you give a digital applause. Look right below the video right now. Let's put thank you, Zenobia. Great job for showing up today. All right, Zenobia, I'm going to turn it over to you to give your final thoughts. Once again, we appreciate you. Can't wait to have you back. And make sure you all follow her on social media. <laughs> thank you, Shay. You're awesome. I love your energy. I've always loved it. Um, thank you so much for having me on your broadcast. It's phenomenal. It's amazing. I love your following, your community. Thank you, everyone that rolled with me today. You've been on this broadcast from the beginning to the end. Um, remember, if you follow me, I'll follow you back on social media. And um, just, just as a takeaway, I would love to um, just encourage you all, those that are um, you still you're battling with un you're unsure, the disbelief you know, is this your right time? Do you have what it takes? I want to, I want to encourage you. It is the right time. You have everything you need. Sometimes it's just a matter of you taking a step, just take one step, one step forward. And, um, that's all that's needed to be able to create that momentum that you need to keep going and going and going. So find that space that you need to take that one step forward and, or, and that one step may be a phone call that you need to send to somebody or an email you need to send out, or, you know, some type of connection, or you may need to go ahead and purchase that, that small bundle of a product, you know, that, that, that demo, take that first step, whatever it looks like, no matter if you're scared, you don't know how it's going to end up, make that connection reach out. Who, who knows? I've reached out to so many people and they didn't know me just and it ended up working out. And so um, don't let anything, no fear or anything stop you. Just take that first step and you never know what you can create. I think that'll definitely create the momentum that you need. And thank you so much for having me again, Shay. This was phenomenal. I love the Happy Entrepreneur Show. 12 o'clock. Whenever you get rolling back on your regular schedule, I'm rolling with you. I promise. I'm with you. <laughs> She, and she's so genuine. She means that, by the way. With that being said, thank you all for joining. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you follow us. Stay in contact. I want you to know that you're amazing. I want you to know that you're incredible. You've got so much greatness inside you. And for you, today is your January 1st. Why? Because all systems are a go. Today is your January 1st. Why? Because you just finished listening to that chick in her own words. And today is your January 1st because the best is still yet to come. The best is yet to come. I believe for you, the best is yet to come. With that being said, for those who know who in the LL Cool J is making all that noise, well, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you from the bottom of my heart, we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. Remember, time is long. Life, well, is short. Live in the moment and make it count. God bless. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. It's over. You're a rock star. You're amazing. You made it. We made it. Thank all of you for joining. We'll see you next time. We out. Peace. It's been real. I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we win, we no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. Thank you, thank you, Captain.